Good morning, guys. Okay, so now heavy intense weeding. This is uh, called a Mighty Bright Craft Light. Has a little LED light on it, and it has a magnifying glass. Sorry if I just blinded you. I did not mean that. Now what this does is it puts light down as you can see that whole image coming up there okay and then with this see if I can bring it in here for you there's just gonna be one ugly blob for right now huh? um, with this I can actually see if I can do it here for you patience patience my friends I can do it no it's not gonna work with me is it too much reflection oh there helps if I turn it the right way huh let me get this focused in on here. You can, there we go. You can really see things a lot clearer. Now this is a gloss vinyl. Gloss vinyls are a little bit more difficult when you do the side lighting, but it's still so much more easier to do it if you can, what I call side light, light it, which is, you know, you light it from the side just like this, and then that really helps show the ridges up. I'll go get a piece of the black vinyl that I have that isn't any, it's not really any good anymore. It doesn't stick to anything, including itself. Okay, and here's a matte black one. And you can see this shows up really well. There is nothing on this. This is just the cut lines. Um, and you see it's side lighted. Um, I have an ot light on right now. Um, but if you introduce this light and take out all the others, I mean, this really shows up quite well so you can see every little thing. So this will tell you what you can and can't, or can and should not weed. You can weed whatever you want, actually. Um, so this is one way. I do have, ugh, I do have this little guy taped down all around, so you don't need to worry about trying to hold it down when you are um, weeding it out and what I do is I just go in and I start picking and hopefully I know it's hard to see this because this is on gloss Let's see if I can move this a little closer and get you right down on it Let's see if it'll focus in for us here a little bit better there we go get the camera out of the way and my fingers out of the way But this is how you do it. You just go in and you carefully start to remove this stuff. Now, anytime you have a, a weeding like this, it's going to take you a while to do. Um, just because it is intricate. Um, the, there's not really an easy way to do it. Or a quick way. Um, you just have to sit down and start off doing it. Just go in and start pulling. And I like these tools because you can get right in there and get the smallest stuff out. And I'll cut this out because I don't want to cut my tape off. And there we go. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> and you just go in and continue to weed just like this. And the tiny little intricate pieces, just be careful around. But as long as you have your blade set correctly and it's cutting appropriately, you shouldn't have any trouble with it. It should just come right out for you. All right. So you see how I'm doing all of this? And it's coming off really easy. But, you know, if you're just starting out, I don't think this would be something that I would recommend for... Um, someone just starting to do vinyl I think a simple font um, kind of project would be better for you 
but if you're game for it, go ahead and give it a shot. No better time than the present, huh? And this is it. You just go through and keep on picking and pulling. And the side lighting really does help because that shows you where all the all of your cut lines are. And then the tape helps because it holds it down and you can have both of your hands free to do whatever you need to do. And then reposition your tape as you need to. And here we go. I mean this is coming along really quickly. And the next one I'm going to show you is reverse weeding and that's up to you to try it see if you like it some people absolutely love it um, I am more of I think it causes you to have to do a lot more work in some cases some cases it works beautifully um, and it really does help but if you have just simple stuff um, I think you can get away with just doing it like this Okay. As you see, it's I am almost done and it hasn't taken me that long. All right, I'm going to stop doing this cuz you see how I'm doing it and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, when we do our rever reverse weeding, you do not want really sticky transfer tape. Uh this is the transfer stuff that I normally use. It's peel and stick. Uh, stuff you can get at Walmart. Um, it's I think it's like $5.47 for a humongous roll and I think it's made by the duck brand because there's a little duck on it. Um, but this is just the clear stuff but it's so tacky or so sticky that when you do it it makes it nearly impossible to get off. So this is a lower tack adhesive transfer tape that has the gridded lines on the back but it's not a clear tape it's kind of like that masking tape that people use so it's really hard when you need like a, a proper placement um, if you don't mark your projects accordingly um, so just be aware of that but this is what you want to use if you do the reverse weeding and I'll show you why here in a minute okay and when you guys are doing um, a project that has as much detail as like this S does you may want to consider getting a matte vinyl like this because look at how good this shows up as compared to that purple one. The matte vinyl doesn't have that shiny gloss finish on it so it's very easy to see these lines. So that's just something to consider, okay? Alright, so I got it all taped down on here. Let's make sure that our... Yep, so that's big enough. Go ahead and peel it off. This is the part that takes forever sometimes. Alrighty. I'm going to put it right down to the edge. Take my little scraper and go right on up. Make sure it's all stuck down on there. And that looks good. All right, and now start to peel back. And now you'll see why this is not my favorite thing to do. I think it's <laughs> so much more work. But some people really like it, and if they like it, then I'll show you how to do it. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. goodness this is even the vinyl that doesn't want to stick to anything but now it doesn't want to come up <sighs> just use your weeding tool and kind of coax it up there I just don't like this. I 
There, this side's coming up a lot easier. Okay, let's get this out of here. Now we want to stick this down right here so you guys can see it. I get the vinyl off my fingers. Okay, so now you're still going to have to go through and pick this all out. So that's why I kind of say I don't see it being any easier to do it this way. I almost think it makes it harder because now instead of being on this easy release background, it's on a sticky paper. So I guess sometimes that's my problem. I, I don't see the benefit of doing it this way. Um, I guess sometimes it can be helpful by keeping everything stuck down, I guess. Um, but to me, it just, I don't know. So I guess if you guys, you know, it's, it, it's totally up to you. I myself do not like it. Too much work. This should be fun. Not a big headache like it's starting to be for me. Maybe that's what we'll do. You guys try it both ways and then tell me what you think. But just, I guess, trying to get it peeled up even is kind of a... of a pain but this less sticky uh, transfer tape is definitely the way that you gotta go you don't want that really super sticky stuff oh my goodness you'd never get it off you probably end up not ever doing any type of creative stuff ever again okay and actually when you do it, when you flip it like this, flip it over and do it this way, it's actually a lot harder to see the lines. So be careful when you do it. Yeah, I'm having a hard time right in here. Okay, I got it now. Okay, so you see this is how you do reverse weeding. If you want, try it and then let me know what you think of it. If it's easier for you, if you think it's more difficult. Oh my goodness. Well, we can say that we tried, can't we? Yes, we sure can. All right, guys, I'm going to stop here. You guys have yourselves a good day, and let me know what you think, all right? Thanks a lot.